patriarchy problems. Here I am, all ready to speak. And I've gotten myself dressed and I've put some makeup on. And I've done my hair in a fashion because I know, as a woman, that you will get criticized for everything you say and also how you look, for your age, your amount of makeup, whether you use a filter, whether you're an old hag, yet nobody says anything about how ridiculous Andrew Tate looked. But anyway, patriarchy problems. The passport bros are going to Morocco now or following natural disasters or war areas to obtain women, young women and girls for free because they couldn't afford to follow the customs and provide for women and women in America don't want them. So now men are going to Morocco and rescuing young girls by marrying them. Well, if you want to rescue and provide for Moroccan refugees, then you can bring a family over and you can provide for them. Or you can adopt a boy and you can adopt a girl. But marrying a child is not protection. Marrying a child is abuse. And more and more people, women, but some men are waking up to this fact of the abuses of the patriarchy have been going on, you know, I guess roughly 5,000 years. And people will try to get me by saying, oh, where are your sources for that? And I have plenty of sources. And just research patriarchy, research matriarchies, see how they work. Because a matriarchy is not an inverted patriarchy. The patriarchy operates through hierarchy, force, oppression, and control with usually the white man at the top. And he makes all the laws and the rules and everybody belongs to him and works according to his specifications and gets rewarded accordingly. But of course, white men or whatever color the man is in that culture gets rewarded the most. And rewards are doled out according to the laws of the white man or the man. And under matriarchies, women raise the children cooperative, cooperatively. The focus of a matriarchy is the children and the safety of the children. And the women work together, pool resources, time, energy, because it takes a lot of work to raise children, something that women know and men don't know. Because under the patriarchy, men can just walk away from their children and they've done it in historical numbers. And people will then say, oh, the single mother, as if she is the fault. Where is that father? Where is that father? And also there is the, that's a common story of women that devoted their lives to taking care of the house and the children and then the husband gets tired of them and he wants another woman and he walks and women end up homeless. I, I know people that this happened to. Women share their stories on TikTok. Women are sharing the stories of the abuses of the patriarchy. So when that man walks, she didn't have a career because she invested all her time and energy into taking care of his children and he did not reward her. The patriarchy can dole out rewards, but it can take them away. And it doesn't care about women and children. It cares about male power. And women are waking up to this, and some men are waking up to this. And some people try to argue with me because, you know, a woman, you know, their mother abused them, that they were abused under a matriarchy. No. A single mother in America has been hurt by the patriarchy because her ch she's without protection of the man and her children do not have protection. They used to be called illegitimate as if they don't exist, but they do exist. See, that's the thing. The man fathered the children, but he walked and the woman is raising the children. 
by herself? And is she stressed? Is she overworked? And how ridiculous to say that this is a matriarchy. Under a matriarchy, women control the resources and the power. And what do you need to raise children? Resources. Who raises children? Women. What is the most important thing produced in this whole world? Children and the next generation. Under matriarchies, women control the resources and help raise the children collectively. Under patriarchy, the man controls the resources, but he doesn't create the children. He doesn't grow the children in his body. He doesn't caretake the children. He, the man does whatever he wants. He can go off on a ship. Historically, men were always going off to sea. They go off to war. They go to the next town. They leave their wife because they like the woman down the block better. They leave nine children and their wife to go be with another woman on the same block. This is patriarchy and men defending male behavior and like putting their eyes on a woman, a single woman or a woman who lost it. And, you know, did she abuse her children? Well, if you don't have support or money or resources to raise your children, you are going to snap. So anyway, that's my, that's my patriarchy thoughts. And some people are waking up. A lot of women are waking up. This is the fall of the patriarchy. We are witnessing it now. Because men in charge have not done a good job. I just say two examples. The Donner Party, where men did not listen to the women and took the wrong route, and the Nazis, which was based on hierarchy, genocide, and extinction, and violence. Those are male traits. And somebody for everybody to look at is Princella the Queen Maker. If you don't know her, you should, because she speaks some sense and I do too, but we are witnessing historic times and we are witnessing the fall of the patriarchy and the rise of matriarchies which are egalitarian, cooperative, about caretaking all, particularly the most vulnerable, and spreading out resources and protecting the environment. And anybody with a lick of sense knows that's what we need. And anybody with a lick of sense knows men are not natural leaders. <laughs>